Did you just leave your friends behind by buying a new Xbox Series X and now you're wondering if you'll still be able to join those parties and chat with them? Then make sure you stay tuned to this video where I'll show you whether you can keep doing that. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to help simplify your gaming experience. Now, as we stated, you are here because you now have bought yourself an Xbox Series X and you're still wondering whether you can join the parties of your friends who are still on the Xbox One. Now, I'll have the answer for you and if you're here only for that, then just go ahead and check out this timestamp right here. You can skip ahead and find that answer. But before we do that, let's go ahead and scroll down memory lane a little bit. Now, when the Xbox One first originally came out and you upgraded to the Xbox One, but maybe your friends or your other family members uh, didn't make that jump right away, at least, you know, for whatever reasons, uh, if you wanted to be able to not only play games with them, but also to just even chat while you were playing some of the games, uh, you couldn't do that, at least not without jumping through some hoops. First, it had to be a backwards compatible game, and then you would have to load in that backwards compatible game into your Xbox One, start it up, have the Xbox 360 uh, boot up for you onto your Xbox One, and then once you did that, you could create a party and then join and play those specific backwards compatibility games, and because of that, you could also join and start a party uh, in that backwards compatible mode. Now, that wasn't a huge obstacle, but it still meant you had to take a few extra steps, and it was only sometimes. You couldn't just start a party just to hang out with your friends. You literally had to start in a game, and you had to be in those specific games to play and talk with each other. However, with the new Xbox Series X, Microsoft has made a really nice change, and they do, in fact, allow you to join parties with an Xbox One or an Xbox Series X. It does not matter which particular console you're on. They really want you to be allowed to still chat and game and play with your friends and family. Now, personally, I've actually have experienced this myself being on the Xbox Series X. I have just several friends uh, who aren't quite on there yet. I also have my son who now has my Xbox One X. And sometimes if we want to join a party together and chit chat uh, while I'm downstairs and he's upstairs playing, we can now start a party. I can invite him to my party or if he's upstairs and I'm downstairs playing, he can start a party on his Xbox One X and then he can send it to me and I can join his party through my Series X. And so just in case you are brand new to the Xbox One or the Xbox Series X and you're wondering how to even start a party, let's go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. Now, there are two different methods that you can take and we'll go through both of those. So now the first way that you can join a party is by clicking the home button on your controller right here. And then we'll jump into the Xbox now. So once you've clicked on that, we're going to go over to people and then you can click on your friends list. And then from your friends list, you'll just pick out the person that you want to invite to your party and on this one we're going to click invite invite to party and now the invitation is sent now the neat trick here is the person that I just invited was my son who is upstairs playing on my old Xbox one X and I just sent him an invite so he would be able to join me from his one X onto my Xbox Series X Okay, and so now the second way to start a party is again by clicking your home button on your Xbox controller. And once you do that, again, the menu will pop up and then you can go over to the chat icon and you'll hit the start a party button this time. And now when you do that, you're going to start a party by yourself. Uh, go down to invite more. And then the nice thing about this option, it does allow you to select multiple people to invite. And then you would just go to the invite selected people option. And again, it doesn't matter if they're on the Xbox One or the Xbox Series X. It doesn't necessarily give you a distinction. So once you click on that, you'll click on invite selected people and they'll get their invite sent again. And Microsoft actually did a really nice feature here because in the past when the Xbox One was launched, in order to chat with the parties, like I said, you had to be in a specific backwards compatible game. Well, in this case, in the new version of the Xbox Series X, you do not have to do that. You can literally be at your home screen. You can just send somebody an invite right away. Doesn't matter if they're on the Xbox One or if they're on the Xbox Series X. It doesn't matter if you're in a particular game. You might be playing a game of Call of Duty while they might be in a game of Grand Theft Auto. And if you want to invite each other, it doesn't matter. You can do that at any time. So now don't worry if you want to talk smack against your friends or other family members, you'll still be able to do that with the new Xbox Series X. Okay guys, and so now that you do have your new Xbox Series X, you might be wondering if that controller will work on the Xbox One. Then make sure you check out this video right here 
where I show you whether the Xbox Series X controller will work on the Xbox One still. Alright guys, and thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.